What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another book video. I love these book videos. So, if you haven't seen, I have actually already posted a book video today, and it is about Haps, the description of Haps. But uh, now I want to go over the description of Somnophobia, because we got both today, and uh, I kind of wanted to split them into two separate videos, just so that they're not too long, and so that my channel is basically more organised. <laughs> Um, but we had a very weird reveal in, in the last video, and I'm hoping that there's going to be sort of at least one story that really stands out in, uh, in this book as well. So let's get straight into reading this description. I also want to mention before we get into this that epilogues are coming as well, just in case you didn't see the last, uh, the last part of my previous video. There will be epilogues in these books, and that's going to be incredible. Uh, I don't know if characters are going to be returning, I don't know anything about the epilogues, obviously, nobody does, but um, they're really exciting because I really enjoyed the Fastbird Frights and I'm hoping that these kind of continue the series and um, please more people because a lot of people weren't pleased with the Fastbird Frights and I have no idea why. So, let's read this. So, synopsis. What are you running from? Sam... Oh, Sam from Blackbird. <laughs> uh, Sam is afraid of just about anything and everything that's unhealthy ever since his father died. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, oh, okay. So first of all, I did just mention Sam is a name that we saw in Blackbird, uh, Sam and Noel. I'm not too sure if that's going to follow through. I'm not sure if Sam is going to be from Blackbird. I don't know if we're going to get some kind of connections between Tales from the Pizza Plex and Fazbear Frights. That would be pretty cool if we did, but uh, I'm not sure this is the same Sam. Um, but what I do want to point out is that Somnophobia is the name of this first story. Uh, and as we talked about in, our, in, in the reveal video for Somnophobia that I did, um, it could be a little bit about um, the, the, it could be about the message that we got about that child that was having night terrors because they went to the daycare and I really do think that it will be that. Um, and it's afraid of just about anything and everything that's unhealthy ever since his father died. And yeah, the cover is the moon. So I'm pretty sure it's about that story where the child is having night terrors about the daycare. Um, his father died, uh, that, I mean, really, Someone dying in your family really changes your brain, I think. Um, in a way, it's kind of like PTSD. Uh, and, and I really feel like that is a, a really good catalyst to, to um, kind of change everything and to make someone really scared of everything. And I feel like the fact that it's called somnophobia, it also kind of sounds like a therapist is talking about it, you know? Uh, I'm not really suggesting Sam is patient 46, but, um, you know, people don't know what somnophobia means usually, um, so I don't know, maybe they could be diagnosed with somnophobia, but I, I have no idea. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, somnophobia is the fear of falling asleep and staying asleep. So um, it has a lot of connections that I feel like this one is the one that has the most connections out of Lally's game and Haps. Uh, and somnophobia because of the the massive theme of sleep and fears um, and I really like that so yeah that that is a, uh, a potentially a really good story okay um, something ab huh sorry I'm reading ahead I shouldn't do that something about the spring trap costume in the role-playing area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex chills Luca to the core. Excuse me? Something about the spring trap co- Why is there a spring trap costume? Oh my god, this is Fazbear Entertainment are dumb. That's that's act that's <laughs> I'm so glad. I don't even I don't have words. This is gonna be great. The Springtrap costume in the role-playing area. So people know about Springtrap? That's terrible. 
that's actually terrible. The fact that people know about Springtrap and that like people dress up as Springtrap. Oh my god. I mean, okay, so some of you may not have read Felix the Shark. If you haven't, then skip, skip the next 10, 20 seconds maybe. In You're the Band, I believe there's a Freddy mask and it like, it changes you. I, I think it like does something to you. I feel like it could be something like that where it's it's like the Springtrap costume controls you or something. Anyway, yeah, let's stop talking about that because that is spoilers. I am really, really intrigued. And it's a, it's in a role-playing area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. Maybe someone could be too into the role play. Uh, like, uh, I'm Springtrap, and then they actually perceive it as a real Springtrap or something. Like, sound illusion discs. I imagine, imagine if they were, like, role playing as the characters, but they had sound illusion discs and they didn't know how it worked. So the characters actually turn into real animatronics. That would be terrifying. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, I don't think that's where it's gonna go, but that would be kind of cool. Uh, we can learn more about sound illusion discs. Um, yeah, this this really intrigues me. Why is there a spring track costume in the Mega Pizza Plex? That is terrible. That is. <laughs> I'm so excited for this book. This book... Oh my god. I mean, I've only read the descriptions of two stories and I'm most excited for this book. I mean, you could have guessed that as well because the front cover is Moon, who is a terrifically designed animatronic. And we didn't see much of Moon either. Uh, well, we did see more of Moon than Sun, but it's good to be able to see more of these characters in book form. Okay, I think we should move on to the last story. I don't really have much else to say about the spring trap cost. I think I've really said what I've needed to say about that. Why? Just why is there a spring trap costume? I'm really intrigued to see how that fits in. Um, could it have something to do with burn trap? Like burn trap uses parts of the. Nah, nah. I don't think so. I don't know. I I don't know. I feel like. It's, it's just so weird that, like, they have the option to dress up as a murderer. <laughs> uh, it's probably just Fazbear Entertainment trying to make light of what happened all those years ago and stuff. Like, don't be scared of these guys, but uh, one of them has a weird aura and it's the murderer one. Uh, <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, and Grady's fear of being trapped in small spaces, claustrophobia, uh, makes working as a Pizzaplex technician extremely challenging. Okay, that gives me jump for tickets vibes. <laughs> um, really, uh, all of these are kind of like, like, fears, right? So you've got somnophobia, you've got the fear of a murderer costume, <laughs> and you've got claustrophobia. Um, yeah, I, I like that, how they've paired up like claustrophobia and somnophobia, that's kind of cool. Um, Grady's fear of being trapped in small spaces makes working as a pizzaplex technician extremely challenging. Could it be, be to do with the vents? I reckon, I reckon vents is a good call there. Uh, the elevator. Um, maybe even the daycare, you know, like they literally have generators in the play area, like technicians are gonna need to go in there and like like turn them on and off and stuff it's yeah I, I don't know I don't know that that's an intriguing story I don't know where that could take place um, but I, I feel like it's gonna be your average you know uh, the technician goes to this place see something gets out goes back to the job see something else blah 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 could be like room for one more in a way but just the fear of being in a small space I, I kind of have that you know, being in a cramped room, it's really horrible. Uh, I don't really like parties that much when they're, they're cramped in a small space. So I kind of get that and uh, I, I really want to see where that goes. I want to see where the the um, the threat is there. Is there going to be an animatronic? Could it be Music Man? Not DJ Music Man, just Music Man. Just the Music Man like tapping through the small spaces, it could be that. That's my guess right now, I think. Um, so really, this, yeah, this this book, 
right here is the one I'm most excited for. Uh, and would you guys agree? Like, I'm probably gonna put a poll on my, uh, in my community, in my community tab on my channel. So uh, look out for that and uh, vote in that. But I am most excited for Somnophobia right now. This is, this is crazy good. Uh, and I cannot wait. When does this come out? I don't even know if we have a release date for this. It's probably 2023. Are we in 2022? We're in 2022. Oh my God, I just, I literally just realized that. Anyway, next year I'm gonna be burning a building while wearing a Springtrap costume. Ha, that's fitting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like, comment and subscribe. What do you think about all of this? I think it's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know this was Dora the Explorer now. Anyway, I've been Ozone, but I have to go Ozone. I'll see you later, goodbye.